Now we just have to look at the very last melody that ends the song. Um, it ends up going back into that whole... And then it ends up going like this. So you want to go 5th fret, 3rd string, and then back and forth between the 4th fret and the 5th fret, like 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, okay, just like before. And then, you're going to bring that 1st finger to the 5th fret, go from the 5th fret to the 7th fret, okay, you're going to hit the 7th fret a couple times. Three times. So now we've got shift up. Okay. And then we're going to go to the ninth fret on the third string, third finger. We're going to do a, and then a hammer on pull off from the seventh fret to the ninth fret and back. So nine. And then hammer on pull off at the seven. And then five and four. And you just drop back. So now we've got at the 8th fret 2nd string and then a hammer on pull off from the 6th fret 2nd string to the 8 and back then the 5th fret then the 3rd fret then the 5th fret again then the 6th fret then the 5th fret then the 3rd fret and then the 5th fret on the 3rd string for the end so that was like this again, at the 8th fret 2nd string with your pinky, okay, and then hammer on pull off, okay, one more time, pinky at the 8th fret on the 2nd string, hammer on pull off between the 6 and the 8, and then the 5th fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, and then land on the 5th fret 3rd string, and then they'll hit an A, power chord from the very end.